This is James Fox with another video tutorial for ZipBooks.com. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the general settings for the invoices that you're going to create. We're going to add your company's logo in addition to the items and quantity. You will also learn how to inform your customer when payment should be made. And if you would like to add some notes, you can do that also. Now, when you log into your ZipBooks account, Click on your company's name at the top right corner of the page. Then click Account Settings. Next, click the Invoices tab here. Now the first thing we're going to do is to add a default company logo. If your company's logo is saved on your computer, click here on the Add Default Logo area and navigate to that logo and then click Open. Your logo will now be added to each invoice that you create. Now if you want to change the size of your logo, click in the area to the right and you will see two up-down arrows. To make the logo larger, click the up arrow and to make the logo smaller, click the down arrow. Now just beneath the logo area, you're going to see a label called Terms and Notes. In the first section, you're going to type in the terms in which your company expects payment. For example, I'm going to type in Net 30. That means your company expects a net payment from your customer within 30 days. Next, if you click in the default notes field, you can enter some default notes that will appear on every invoice that you create. I'm simply going to type in thank you for your business. Now you do have the option of, of emailing every invoice that you create and we can customize the emails that's going to be sent to your customer in this section here. Now in the first section, you're going to type in a default subject line that will be used for every email that you send to the customer. In this example, I'm simply going to type in invoice from Joe's Landscaping. Next, you want to enter in the default email that each customer can reply to if they need to do so. And finally, you want to type in something in the body of the email. Now if you want to automatically attach the invoice, place a check mark in the box labeled attach PDF by default and when you're done click the save button. Now these default settings will be added to each invoice and that is how you change your default invoice settings. If you have any questions please send me an email. Once again my name is James Fox and I'll see you next time.